We're attempting to paddle all the way through Portugal from the Cerro de Estrela all the way down to Lisbon. So meet the team who are trying to make it happen. It's only a short nine kilometer paddle down to the Cabril Dam. And we're, I think it's all on our minds this morning as we prepare to set out what this portage will entail. How long will it be? How hot will it be? How high will it be? And will we be able to get back into the water? It's mindfulness, it's well-being, and all those good things wrapped up together. You can eat as much quinoa as you like. You're not going to get this. Absolutely. Beautiful morning. We're just um, probably a couple of hours away from the dam wall, and the the dam is widening out quite a lot. Yeah, I know it's going to be a long, hard, interesting haul. We're going to see if we can find a way across this big dam, which is going to take us from that side of the water, which we've come down from Kambash and all that way. About how many kilometres? 50. Looking for a way to port our boards which are down there, up this height, down that side, and, then yeah, and uh, we according to the view off the top of this dam now. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Maybe we should show you guys, should we show you the view? You wanna see the view? Check this. So what so happened? They said there's no there's a beautiful slipway right down there. Oh, it looks Just like it. You can see it on Google Earth. Yeah, the chance in the whole of that canyon. The best way to get in there is through that slipway, but they would not authorize it because it's behind the hydroelectric output. Oh, I see. And the one generator is running at the moment, so I can't authorize anything. So what we have to do is go to Ponte Filipina, yes. which is further on. It's one of the most photographed bridges in Portugal. Oh, lovely. That'll be nice. And uh, we have to walk there. So there's some upside. Well, that's good. Let's go. Let's go. It's pretty heavy. It is going to be tough. It's a lot of kilograms in there. Tell you what, this is not fun. Yeah, we are still smiling though. Gotta keep smiling, yeah. These starboards surely go places, aren't they? Starboard Astra Touring 12, 6, 31 inch, 4.75. And I'd much rather be down there in that water, but not allowed. We didn't have 190 days to apply for the permit to walk through. Uh, we've got to go down here, all the way down here, down to the small little bridge over here, and jump in the water. You can think I'll be climbing hills with a paddleboard. <laughs> you are now. Day two, day of hills. It's a fantastic water sport. <laughs> this is pretty tough. We're on the downslope now, so it's cool. And yeah, we thanks, thank God for small mercies, we're in, we're in shade at the moment, because it's hot today, it's about 29 degrees, hot. This place is like Lord of the Rings or something, The Hobbit. It's the most beautiful road I think I've ever walked through in my life, it's stunning. All these moss-covered little canyons and ivy-covered walls, beautiful dappled shade and really old cobbled streets, which are rather so underfoot. Here comes the rest of the crew. Oh, oh hey! As you can see, we're in the river, but uh, it's been quite a mission getting into this river. But the sides of the river here are pretty steep, 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 steep. And this bridge is high. And um, 
we struggled to get in. We had no, so Andrew came up with a plan. What we're gonna do is we walk all the bags around here. We'll find a little place, we shimmy down the side. They jumped in the water, swam to this bridge. We put the boards down with paracord and then they got on the boards, paddled the boards back, and we walked all the bags down and shimmied the bags down. So it's been, it's been a fun hour, but it was a whole lot better than the alternative, which was walking all the way back up along here into an unknown territory and possibly not getting anywhere and just getting bloody tired. I was definitely being a bit kind there. We had freezing water to contend with because all the water comes out of the bottom of the dam above and that makes it really, really cold. The path we had to get around with carrying these massive bags filled with brambles and thorns and about a four to five meter drop down rocks straight into the river. That was pretty precarious. The heat was about 30 degrees and, and also we were quite exhausted from our walk and our paddle and our portage before. So it was a, it was a tough day. It was a very, very trying day and we were all pretty happy to get back into paddling mode again. So how are you feeling? I feel epic. Epic! Epic! Little swim, little paddle, it's very good. A little freezing swim. I screamed like a girl. Not this girl. Not that girl, <laughs> no, you didn't scream at all. Um so what do you what's the verdict? Are we... I'm afraid it's no it doesn't look very easy to camp up there. So what's the Timote moment? <laughs> <laughs> so that is perfect. <laughs> Come. Great. Portuguese figs, beautiful, mm. delicious, sweeter than I've ever tasted. There's our campsite on the third night. It's a bit difficult to work with because some tractors been over here and made rather uneven ground. But it's a pretty nice little spot. Thanks again to Starboard for these four Astro Touring 12 sixes. They're working really well. And they're rather light on the portage, because we had a mammoth portage today, as you must have seen. <laughs> 